Hey everybody, welcome to Geeks Vinyl Live. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. Whether you are catching this live or on the replay, I really do appreciate your support. So tonight we're going to start off by talking about tonight's story, surprise, surprise, and then come on to the live chat. So if you've got any questions, tag at Geeks Vinyl in the live chat and I'll come back, answer those questions and also discuss your thoughts. If you're watching the replay, then do let me know your thoughts in the comments below as well. This is one where I've, I've, I've already heard a lot of... Um, uh, hot takes and considered takes and interesting takes on um, but I always want to hear more so do let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this particular story also if you're new here please do remember to hit that subscribe button and can I ask my awesome regulars to smash the like button nice and early thank you sorry that's the the YouTube a bit out of the way I promise just very quickly uh, thank you to uh, Gimbal Air for your uh, for your super chat there I really appreciate it there's good session on Triple S I the other night Sean thank you uh, we do actually have a follow-up that's going to be coming up on that one actually with with a bit more interesting information um, as well actually but more on that in the channel soon but yeah this certainly seems to be uh, enjoyed by quite a few people and I think it's a uh, a welcome update to the um, to the app there on the Drone Assist app and also the easy way to be able to search these things online as well, which I think is fantastic. But uh, thank you very much for your for your uh, very kind uh, super chat there, Kim Blair. Thank you. So tonight, as I say, we're going to be talking about a topic which has actually generated a, a, a lot of buzz, a great deal of buzz over the past few days. Over in the US, uh, a seemingly, r really a dead bill seeking to ban DJI drones in, in a way has been somewhat revived and is now moving through committee again. In the United States, there is what we can be best described as a growing political issue towards Chinese technology and how that technology might be impacting society and security. There is no doubt that the two nations are actually heavily intertwined with more Chinese tech in the average American home, really, than from any other country, frankly. Now, DJI is already heavily sanctioned in the US. Sanctions against DJI and the, it, 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 and the company in particular are being placed on things like banning lists, entity lists, etc., which stop them from doing something is really nothing new. We've been reporting on this issue for some time on Geeks Varna. There's quite a few videos in our back catalogue regarding this particular topic. To date, none of these laws have had an overt, I would say, um, uh, or, or, or any kind of real impact on a DJI drone in your hands as a consumer. The sanctions so far have presented really, really, so far those sanctions have actually prevented people like the federal agencies, that type of thing, from being able to use um, the, the DJI products. So really federal employees, or in actual fact, any program that receives federal funds and, and the other area impacted by the sanctions has been essentially the technology itself. Essentially, no US-owned technology should be passed to DJI at the moment uh, for use in their products. The latter has appeared to have something more of an impact, especially early on, but DJI seem to have a good supply chain now and have swapped out tech to ensure that they have more control over future products. So I think it would be even less of a problem for them going on. So so what is new? What 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 is what is happening to um, sort of fill your YouTube um, um, suggested feed with the the DJI and, and, and the word ban together again? Well, rather than bombard you with reading out the documents verbatim, you can also get that yourself by clicking a link in the description below of this video. Let me explain this in really as, as in a simple way as possible in terms of a, a way that can be understood and actually how it might impact your drone rather than talking about the technical side of things. There was a previous bill introduced in the US which sought to further restrict the use of DJI drones in the United States. In essence, this bill has been really reinvigorated and amended. HR 2864, introduced on the April 25th, 2023, seeks to amend the Secure and Trusted Communications Network Act of 2019 to provide for the addition of certain equipment and services produced or provided by DJI Technologies to the list, which essentially is the list of covered communications equipment. The type of equipment they would look to include essentially cover anything which uses a transmission signal to work. So certainly that would include the drones that we fly. A company being added to the covered list in the United States certainly does have serious implications if this was to happen. When you're placed on that list, it is deemed that your equipment poses an unacceptable risk to the national security of the United States or the security and safety of, a, of United States persons. 
The way they seek to prevent those products from being used by consumers and being approved essentially in the US for use and furthering the risk is that the FCC will not provide a license for your products. Any device seeking to use the airwaves, such as things like Wi-Fi, needs an approval from the FCC for wider sale. So if you're on the covered list, you're simply not going to get it. That means you're not going to be able to sell those products to US consumers in the same way that they do at the moment. So uh, you, you'll, you'll know, obviously, the whole thing of FCC CC versus CE and whether or not you've got um, uh, you're able to um, um, basically switch between the two because there are signal strengths and you can technically fly further or, or have a stronger signal better penetration with the FCC and you'll also know FCC from the many leaks because of course when these products go forward to be reviewed um, often it's the FCC page uh, that actually leaks it out because they tend to appear a few weeks before the products launch although that is actually changing now to prevent those particular leaks. Now, this does not ban the drone in your hand, so do not rush out and sell your Mini 3, etc., because any implications that would result in any of the products you already own actually being impacted is really both unlikely, and even if it did happen, would take a long, long time before anything happened in terms of enforcement and that type of thing. There is a snowball effect here, though, that we do, we do need to be careful of. And should anything succeed on this kind of level, then my concern is really who knows where it might end. But personally, I would not panic about your existing DJI devices at all, frankly. So let's let's have a think. Let's have a look at actually how likely this is to, to actually happen. Well, this has already died once at committee level, and this bill is very much in its infancy still, again, at committee level. Now, Geeks One has reached out to sources and to the general feeling that we have gained is that the bill is likely to be killed again at committee level, but certainly it's not expected to survive any kind of exposure to the House itself. The bill is sponsored by a senior congresswoman, and the fear here is that this is a topic which frankly will not go away. The problem here is that when you take two issues and present it to someone who doesn't understand the deeper workings of drones, etc., you get a misunderstanding that you can actually quite understand that somebody takes. You know, if you think about this, not only is DJI some sort of scary Chinese company, but also drones are scary technology that can steal secrets and invade privacy from the sky. We already have a bit of a, a, a PR issue on our hands in terms of actually getting the public to understand what drones are. Now, we as drone users obviously know that isn't exactly how it works. It's not exactly how it stacks up. But I can see how you can make it a, a real and true pressure point uh, to those who don't understand the hobby or industry. One concern here that we have to have, of course, is that there is a worry here of things slipping through. Um, there is a worry that with persistent pressure on the topic, something could slip through, which is why you'll find many of the US-based drone content uh, creators out there appealing for their audiences to reach out to their political representatives to try and make them understand the good use of drones and why perhaps DJI as a product is essential in many ways at the moment uh, to the industry and certainly hobby. So th that's the basics of, of, of where we're at. What, what, what is really behind it all? Uh, we, we, of course, we, we can't definitively answer that question because some of that starts to come down to opinion as well. But there is the feeling that there is something going on behind the scenes that we as the public are not privy to. This is both understandable and highly frustrating. Of course, a lot of work by governments to keep our nation safe is... Is, is, is not something that can always be easily shared publicly. However, if there is some sort of magic source sitting in the background here, if you are looking to impact so many businesses and hobby flyers, then at least the basics of that need to be published. Without it, without that information, you have to put it aside and almost, in my opinion, start to ignore it. We simply cannot weigh the risks that somebody will not explain. So if there is some kind of mystical issue here, if there's something else going on behind the scenes, either tell us or we have to move on, surely because without it, I just don't see how they're ever going to gain the support for these bills. Is it is it all political? This is one of the things that I see an awful lot. Is this something which is 
purely a political issue. Some feel that it is, and it has a lot more to do with the lobbying and really anything else. Certainly companies like Skydio have been very public with their dislike of the DJI brand, and we're aware of active lobbying being carried out specifically against DJI in DC. We all see the political pressure against China as a nation and their technology, and it's very much a hot, hot button topic right now uh, with the mass debates over things like TikTok, for instance. So certainly politics is a very important element in this story. One of the sanction actions that's already actually taken place against DJI for the use of their products is around human rights violations. This allegedly happens um, um, rather than just their products being simply used. So, you know, we're not talking about uh, the human right violation happened by, by someone that was driving a Toyota, so we're just going to ban Toyotas or, or sanction Toyotas. But the accusation is that they were actively involved somehow in helping deploy and achieve the outcome. Uh, and that was how they ended up on, on, one, of, on one of the uh, um, uh, sanctioned lists, essentially. You've got another side of this that's often brought up, which is the blue list drones, the blue UAS list, uh, which is a list of approved US drones um, that essentially, again, is something which I think actually is a little bit misunderstood. There's a lot of confusion when it comes to this subsection of the topic, which is actually really a whole topic in itself, which I might cover on the channel at some point. But Initially, let me explain it and why the blue list, I think, isn't really any kind of issue behind this particular DJI ban proposed at the moment. Blue UAS is really more of a standard for manufacturers to achieve. It's seen more as a holistic approach in gaining a UAS that can be used by the US Department of Defense. It doesn't mean that all the parts are, are, are not made in China. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's all 100% US manufactured. Uh, it, 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 in actual fact, it doesn't mean that the vast majority of the drone can actually, can't actually contain Chinese components. It really, in basic terms, means that the drone is assembled and the IP, the data, is all secured within the in, within the US. A really good example of how this happened is actually Parrot Drones, who are a, 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 at heart a French company who decided to make a blue UAS product. Obviously, we have the Parrot and Afi USA, um, and they actually ended up transferring all of their IP, all of their all of their service, etc., and their manufacturing across to a trusted US defense manufacturer to work with as a partner. So essentially by moving everything across from France over to the US, including their IP, absolutely everything, it basically means that they were then conforming to this standard and it means that their drones are essentially trusted so the DOD can start to use it. Now, I don't see the blue list as something which is going to help um, consumer products and or, or, or hurt that side of things at, at all. There's a highly valuable industry for drone use within the defence sector and the industries which fall away from that sector to make it more than worthwhile for companies to chase without even worrying about consumer grade products. Some of the contracts that these companies are winning in that sector are absolutely extraordinary and, and they're worth hundreds of millions. And frankly, they're quite happy with chasing that. So the existing sanctions that are actually in place against DJI already prevent them from serving that audience. So there would be little benefit for the blue UAS companies to see a consumer ban of any kind on DJI directly. Certainly most of the unit cost products, so the price of an individual drone in that sector is simply well beyond consumers. They have no products designed to replace DJI, nor would they probably be interested in doing so. In actual fact, you see uh, companies such as Skydio actually looking to move even further away from consumer drones, basically. So the lobbying against Chinese drones and DJI in terms of the blue UA UAS has really already been won. They've really won that battle. And a new thriving industry is making a lot of money from government and military contracts there. One thing which I think doesn't help things, and if we're looking for a sort of, you know, more solid political issue here, is the fact that actually the laws within China don't really help their cause very much. The fact that Chinese law actually insists that any citizen is obliged to essentially spy on behalf of the state, and there are laws in place meaning larger commercial entities in China have to work hand in hand with their intelligence services where requested, doesn't really help the situation. Now, I'm not suggesting for a minute that uh, large UK companies, large US companies don't work hand in hand with, the, with their own um, intelligence agencies, but to have it actually in law is something which I find just moves it beyond that little sort of, you know, 
level of trust, essentially. Now, these these are not ancient laws. They're not something which aren't in force, which have been in place for a decade or anything else like that. The most recent ones were actually um, enacted as recently as 2017. So why am I confident in my title, in my thumbnail, that DGI will not be banned this time? It's not just because I feel that this particular bill will probably die out at committee level or certainly early stages of the House. So far, the US system, in terms of both state and federal, have held something of a line. They have shown a consistent reluctance to impact the consumer market on this. And I personally think that that's a line that's going to hold unless we see something of a, a smoking gun moment, unless we have some of the data that I was talking about at the beginning that comes out that says this is why DJI are truly bad actors. And there is always the risk that the the pure consistent pressure could could see this being tagged onto another bill or gaining traction off the the back of the general anti-china feeling but i personally do not see the line being crossed into the consumer world anytime soon that's just again my personal opinion on that we also have to give a special mention here to the other side of things the other pressure that's being brought on chinese drones which is the state legislators, not just at a federal national level. We have to give more than a passing mention to the Florida situation and other states that are now following their lead. Certainly, this has been something causing absolute chaos and impacting, frankly, life-saving work of police and search and rescue groups. It's a huge concern and something which seems to be gaining a lot of traction. It's one of those things where, well, they've done it, so now we're going to kind of move across into that. Again, it seems to hold its foundations in politics rather than any real evidence, as, of course, many of us saw um, when we noticed the, um, um, the, the hearings in Florida as well. We're actually looking into this. So it really is a, a very, very difficult situation. Moving across into the chat, and um, thank you very much um, to um, Atty Thompson, who has joined the Drone Club. I appreciate it. If you want to become a channel member, uh, not only do you get little sort of cool badges after your name uh, in the live chat, etc., but you get access to exclusive emojis, which we're just about to update. Um, and also you get access to lots of behind the scenes um, uh, work um, uh, content as well videos and and all sorts of bits and pieces which is which actually now addy you can go to our home page of the channel and actually enjoy the members only um uh, playlist there which there's lots of content dating back a couple of years in there um also thank you very much to andy cortez uh, who gifted a geeks Varna membership and congratulations to uh, one vision aerial who was actually the recipient of that so that that's fantastic thank you so going back and having a look at some of your comments in the chat do let me know what you think in terms of of this story in the chat and we, we will we will have your um, your thoughts uh, put in here just very quickly from our senior moderator Andy Cortez sat by the fire pit in the backyard watching Geek Varna with a beer nice yes we're finally getting the weather here in the UK aren't we Andy to to actually enjoy ourselves in in those terms which is wonderful frankly uh, Daniel Nixon says it's going to be another TikTok thing a bunch of 80 year olds in power who still own chalkboards and I I, I, I do feel like you know I feel like the DJI issue has been going on and there there are merits and there are issues with with the system and with the sanctions that have happened some of which make sense to me some of which don't make sense um but i do agree that this is an older issue with the dgi side of things and the federal use that's been rumbling on for many years but actually this new thing with the TikTok and um uh, with the with the general anti-chinese feeling um in politically speaking in the states actually it is something that we as 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 drone hobbyists etc we're kind of getting caught up in now uh, without evil chinese drones basically um, and uh, Dennis is saying the air units in Vista should be fine. Any DJI hooked to cell phone uh, might might be in their sights. Yeah, um, and and it, it's important to um, to point out that you know going on the FCC covered list basically stops them from being able to gain licenses for any of their equipment which has uh, transmission. Now it, it might not stop there. Once once that happens, who who else who knows what else is planned and round the corner? But that stops the new products in terms of actually impacting products that are already approved and in your house and drones that you can pick up and go and fly today i really wouldn't worry about it by the time any kind of issue came around to that if it did um that that drone would probably be you know out of date by that point and we'll be flying something else uh, perhaps we'll all be flying i don't know microsoft drones by then 
Okay, Tamana, I wouldn't say this is dead in committee. Um, it's headed up by Homeland Security. Homeland Security will label this as a national security issue. Once that happens, there'll be no stopping it. Yeah, J Justin, ab absolutely. However, the, the previous one, uh, the, the, the bill originally died at committee level. The feedback we're getting is that this won't come out of committee again, um, um, and it isn't expected to, uh, but... It, it, it's it's the consistency that concerns me. I think certainly once it gets into the House, um, it, it isn't going to. I, I think if Homeland Security wanted this, I think there's another couple of angles, another couple of bills that they could possibly take, um, another angle or two that they could have. But I, I completely see your point. And certainly it, it's the same as in this country when the security services get involved, when um, uh, national security gets involved. There is a lot more power there. There is a lot more ability to be able to push things through. Ex-Chair Bruce, hi, good to see you. Uh, simple uh, explanation. The US drone industry can't compete on the basis of price performance, so legislators are going to fix that. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's an interesting accusation, uh, but I don't know whether, you know, have, have we seen that before? I know early on in the... Uh, the Japanese car boom in the United States. Um, there, there were there was talk of of curtailing and um, outlawing certain 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 things to try and hold that back, and that obviously was resolved by the Japanese manufacturers opening up factories within uh, the United States. But I'm I'm not I'm not entirely sure. I I, I don't see that argument as clearly. Um, with the DJI and drones personally. But, you know, because also bear in mind, it also comes back to that one company um, an awful lot, frankly. Uh, Drone Reels UK, good to see you. Um, Tom, and I'm not going to pronounce that surname, but I have read it before, has been tasked by Homeland Security to review DJI in this country. Um, I've messaged him about uh, this to see what assurances, if any, he can give to fledgling businesses. Yeah, uh, uh, again, and this is something that I've heard on the wires myself and on feedback from um, different stakeholders um, that, that we deal with, um, not actually anybody that, that, we, that we speak to on air, so not the CAA or anybody else like that, but um, uh, individual police officers out there, individual businesses and um, governments as well, where this is actually a topic which is coming up in the UK. We don't seem to have it as, um, as, as ferociously, it doesn't seem to be quite as um, difficult a point uh, here in the UK, but who knows um, what um, Tom's findings will bring. It's, it, it's certainly something uh, which has obviously been looked into. Barclay 107 Drones, good to see you. Unfortunately, precedent has been set uh, by a previous political figure to behave poorly to get votes. Uh, voting to ban DJI products will get votes regardless of the negative effect. Yeah, and I, I, think, I think one of the things that, that we, have to, we have to really ensure that they get across, and, and this, is, this is beyond the hobby. The hobby is such a vital part of all of our lives. Everybody, certainly most of the people watching right now, a hobby element is really, really important to us. But of course, there is a whole other audience here. There is a whole other user across the United States that relies on this to pay their bills and relies on DJI drones and Chinese drones uh, to get the job done for them. And although it's sort of like, you know, actually... Uh, Pinning back DJI with some kind of ban would actually, uh, uh, arguably, as 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 actually was saying before, from the point of view of being able to open things up for other American companies to benefit, without anything to to hop across to, without anything to go across to, any products even remotely close, even remotely close, then you, especially in terms of quantity and and numbers that they can produce as well, and um, a unit price then frankly, I think all you're going to do is end up hurting a lot of small American business owners, um, an awful lot of them, frankly. Um, yeah, and as XJet says, the FCC certification won't change. It's a tech spec and providing DJI meet the requirements, it must be granted certification. Not if they're on the covered list. Um, if, they're, if they are placed on the covered list, which is what this current bill is, they are actually excluded from being able to hold FCC uh, certifications. So they will not be granted a certification and they will not be able to uh, sell that product in the normal way. Yeah. Um, hi, hi, Jorgen. Um, they probably haven't looked at Google Maps and Google Earth, which show all the infrastructure. And, and, and that's obviously in terms of the, the fact that they're saying it could be a national security risk. And that's really where they need to come out and start explaining it, because that's where you start to get the, the rumor, the infilling, the, you know, oh, you know, we've all got, Chinese phones in our pockets, etc., and there's Chinese security cameras everywhere, etc., and that type of thing. And that's really where that starts to starts to you know 
come into things which is why i'm saying if there is something there in the background if there is an issue we actually need to start hearing about it front and center because the, otherwise this is how we feel um and yes th th there's access to more real-time data a a flight near critical infrastructure today is worth more than a google um a map uh, uh, and there's a lot more information about flows and there's, there's so much more information that, that, that a live drone shot can take but i personally i would be very very surprised if this had anything to do with the images and the footage that we're capturing, I, I would be very, very surprised if we ever had a proper sit down with one of the senior political figures who are uh, perhaps, you know, Brendan over the FCC or the Congresswoman who, who is, who is, who is the main sponsor of this bill was to sit down and really explain things, really go into detail about the information they have, etc. I hope that happens one day. I don't think it's going to be anything to do with the data as in the photos and the videos that we're capturing being sent back. I, I, I would be shocked. I would also be appalled if they think it's that uh, because then it really would be a, a very, very uh, bad, a bad time, basically. Uh, Nikki, uh, plenty of evidence China is using products like this for spying. Um, drones don't go away. They're just made elsewhere. Yeah, indeed. And, and, and you know, it, this is, again, it's a bit like, to, to me, part of this reminds me of the Chinese spy balloon uh, story um, that actually, you know, if you don't think we're not doing that above other countries, and I say we, I mean, the, you know, the Western world, we don't think we're not doing that across other countries and we're not just as um, capable of doing these kinds of things, then, you know, it, it, it happens everywhere frankly in, in my opinion and as actually saying as i pointed out they could tack the bill onto the tail of far more important a less contentious uh, piece of legislation this happens a lot in the u.s y yes and, and i did note it i did note that as a concern but there there is there is there is a lot of caveats to that but it, it is it is absolutely a concern Drone Rules UK is saying startups will want to know what drones to invest in and will need some certainty from government. I've asked for assurance, but I'm not hopeful. Um, and thank you for asking for, for that assurance as well. But it, 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 this is, and this is something that actually, whenever somebody talks to me about why it hasn't somebody come along, why, why, why hasn't one of the other large brands, um, you know, Apple or, you know, some of the other large, large technology brands, why haven't they come along and said, look, there's this huge market here in drones. You look at things like, you know, the PlayStation versus Xbox, where Microsoft came in and said, I'll, I'll, we'll have a bit of that and we'll, and we'll bring our Xbox into things. And hence then, you know, the ongoing battle why doesn't that happen in drones why don't we see that and to me it's actually ironically the very situation we're in right now the the turmoil the discussion and the dispute over brands like dji and chinese drones that actually stops other brands coming in if you were the senior board at a very large tech company and somebody showed you all of the figures that drones could potentially bring in and could could potentially make you as a company absolutely fantastic you then look at the other side of it, the regulation side of it, the future side of it, and there's absolutely, in my opinion, there is absolutely no technology company's main board that would vote to invest in this sector right now on those in that in that kind of scale. I just don't think we we would see it, frankly. Um, so it, it, it is a concern. It's definitely a concern uh, for, for, the, for the future. And I think that should we ever get to a situation where we have more stable regulation globally uh, for drones, then I think we will start to see other large manufacturers coming into it. Jim's droning. Hi, Jim. Good to see you. Uh, cell phones are recording more content uh, than any other, uh, even drones together. Um, let's ban phones and cars. They're dangerous. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons, as I was saying just before, I don't personally, and I would be appalled and outraged if it was the actual content that we're, that we're capturing. If it's that is the bits which they're actually uh, concerned about. And Cool Cat, they're saying, don't call me Shirley. I love that reference. Thank you, Cool Cat. You have made me smile this, this evening, sir. Uh, Andy Cortez, there's a village down the road called Frankly. I'm going to mess with the sign. And so it says Twins with Geeks of Honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do say Frankly a lot on my live streams. But hey, to be fair, I'm pressing all these buttons, bringing you all this wonderful content. And, you know, I'm doing all that alone. So I have the odd word. I, I think they're kind of like little mental cues that allow me to get from section to section. And I try to say them instead of, um, so I think a frankly or a so or a or a surely surely uh, actually helps us get there um, rather than listening to lots of ums and ahs. Although I'll probably start umming and ahring now. I've said it out loud. 
Daniel Nixon, I don't think the US can take the moral high ground when it comes to human rights. Um, yeah, indeed. But again, obviously, you know, it's good to call these things out when they can. And as I said, I didn't voice uh, support or or it, whether I was for or against that kind of action. But that's certain, that's certainly how some of the the sanctions were were put against DJI. And it, it does feel a little bit. If I were TDI, I would feel a little bit like people are trying to find any reason, frankly, uh, to put them against us. Uh, remember, uh, the MOD uh, bought a lot of banned drones uh, from the US. Yes, indeed. Uh, Andrew Lee, as far as the public are concerned, perhaps calling these things drones was a very bad idea. Maybe a netter, better name uh, could have been chosen, something a little less scary. And yeah, I, I, th I think that that doesn't help. Um, and I completely uh, agree with you, Andrew. Thank you for making the point um, that it doesn't help that the word drones encapsulates such a wide and scary thing even before the issues, the, the, the issues. I'm about to call Ukraine the issues, but even before the conflict in Ukraine, the war in Ukraine, and the issues that has brought drones, the word drone, um, drones with, you know, Raptor drones and, and you know, militarised drones, etc. Th these, these are connotations and um, uh, associations that don't help our type of drones, the little mini threes that we fly, etc. Um, so no, I, I do agree with you there completely. It's a very good point to have made. Uh, Andy Cordes, don't forget to renew your Geeks Finder memberships before they expire. Absolutely, Andy. And uh, could the um, nearly 150 people that are watching right now, could you do me a favour? Could everybody go and hit the like button um, on the stream? I'd really appreciate it. I'd love to get to over 100 likes uh, before the show ends. I'd really, really appreciate that. Lindsay Hayes. Hi, Lindsay. Good to see you. One of our regulars. The infrastructure is betrayed in no tams. All of it. I mapped the RF, REF telephone directory uh, for an air a training core project. The third time it went public uh, on public display, the preferable hit the fan. No, I, I, and I, 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 I do know what you mean. And, and that's why I think that although, you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's an argument that live data of infrastructure, and of course, the fact is you can't fly drones around sensitive infrastructure. Um, that's something which pretty much most countries have got their act together on in terms of protecting those areas with counter drone technology and also regulation as well to try and keep those areas safe. Um, so again, it, 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 it doesn't feel like it can be that. It doesn't feel like this can be anything to do with how we capture uh, footage because it just doesn't make sense because there are so many other ways to, to negate that. There are so many other ways to stop that. And Tim Long is answering surf addiction. There's a new blanket ban on uh, DJI drones uh, from the CAA. Is there? Right, I'm not aware of that. Oh, oh, just kidding. Okay, excellent. Good to see. Uh, always important to read the next comment. <clears throat> um, up next, we have Dog Whistle Shram. Hi, Adam. Good to see you. Uh, please don't give um, GoPro ideas to make another drone. Oh, yes. The, the, the wonderful GoPro karma. I do remember when a story was put out by Droning On, actually, Ash over at Droning On, uh, where there was a possibility of where a customer service agent had actually said, yes, we might be making the GoPro Karma too. And I thought, crikey, if GoPro ever wanted to be in a situation where they might send themselves pop, then I think that, that, that that's a way to do it, frankly. Uh, APH Inspires, good to see you. Struggling to think how uh, an intelligent USA citizen who saw a sub 250 gram drone filming might see this as an attack on the country. And, and I, I, I agree with you, but but I think that you bring two topics together. So you bring the topic together of China. And obviously there's a, there is a lot of anti-China feeling out there at the moment. And then you have these drones that I, even Joe Public have a very poor view of right now. Even us out flying our sub 250 gram drones, a lot of the public don't have a warm, fuzzy feeling about a camera being flown over their garden and that type of thing, etc. All of the, the, the incorrect connotations or perhaps the, the, very, the very, very much the minority criminal factor with Within, within drones uh, that use their drones for nefarious reasons. Um, but actually, those two things together start to create quite a, um, a, a marketable controversy, I would say, certainly. Uh, XJet, um, I believe the covered list covers connection to the US communication infrastructure. Uh, it doesn't. No, it does. Sorry, you're, you're, you're wrong there, Bruce. The, 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 uh, the FCC covered list stops you from gaining FCC um, certification. 110%, 110% certain on that. Um, I have only this afternoon uh, been reading some of the subsections for um, uh, something else that I'm doing. 
Uh, NXU, good to see you. Sean, good evening. You mentioned um, quantity and price, but DJ also ticks the box for quality, in my opinion. Yeah, and, and it's that thing, isn't it, where, you know, DJI have stolen a march on everybody, basically. They have such a head start. They are so far ahead of the market with in terms of, you know, they have really dictated the marketplace. And now they're going down the Apple-fied search, uh, uh, area of releasing eight different Mavic 3s with different connectors and, you know, Apple, Apple iPhone this and Apple iPhone that, etc. Now they're going down that kind of route. Um, uh, they really are taking a very firm control of that entire um, um, marketplace, frankly. Um, but yes, the quality is there. That reliability is, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Passman, Keith it's all about um, using it responsibly. Uh, if you don't in the UK, the government will follow uh, with more laws and drones audits. Look for a reaction. Absolutely. Responsible drone flight is so important. Justin Drone Gaming RP. Hi, Justin. Um, they know exactly what these drones and the software are doing, and they're just giving it a label. They know that label is crap, but it doesn't matter. That, 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 that's what it starts to feel like, doesn't it? Because you, you feel like any other political issue, any other political pressure, there, there is often a lot of information. There's a barrage of releases, a barrage of different bits and pieces that are actually, that actually come out and, and, and actually um, support action and that type of thing. And we, we just don't get that with this at all. Um, One Piston, why are they so worried about DJI? Not the companies that make 99% of uh, all the other consumer electronics in the US. Uh, they're all made in China, indeed. And I, I, th I think there is a fundamental issue in terms of DJI themselves. I, I, that is certainly one of the uh, the feelings from all of the coverage that, that I've ever read and all of the different stories that we've covered on this topic over the last few years. Um, I, I start to get the feeling there is something there about DJI that they don't like, whether that's something they can prove or that's something that we would all be upset about. I have no idea. Um, but it is time to, you know, um, bleep or get off the pot, frankly, and actually tell us what's happening. Uh, Surf Addiction, we're looking to invest a lot of money in the DJI M30 and possibly... 350 RTK, so it's a concern. But yeah, I, I, I honestly do not, especially here in the UK, um, I, I honestly do not see a time in the, the the near future where we're going to see levels of restrictions that they even have in the US at the moment, uh, surf addiction. I, I just don't see it. Um, I don't hear those noises. Um, you, you know, you, you might see some something happen and there there have been a few articles floating about it that, that should the police be using them and that type of thing. But hopefully they'll get shut down. Hopefully they'll get shut down nice and early and say, actually, you know, all the data is secure. That's all that really matters. Um, you know, it, 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 there isn't as... As, as much scrutiny over other things that we use in this country, um, frankly. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that there. And Lizzie Hayes is saying, yep, uh, correct. The regulatory environment is too hostile for investment. Frankly, I like the frankly at the end there. Thank you, Lindsay. And uh, NXU, uh, I mean, the Chinese landed a spacecraft on the moon. They don't need these drones to take pictures and send them back to China. Um, they can use their sats to do that for them. Yeah, and, and there's, there's so many other ways to do that. I mean, you know, do I think that there's a value? You know, this is a rabbit hole, a whole rabbit hole that we could go down, frankly. Do I think that there's a potential benefit in, you know, things like well, what upsets me sometimes is I see on social media a trend of putting a picture of yourself now and a picture 20 years ago and then a picture five years ago. And, you know, it becomes a trend. And to me, I think, well, we're just handing our data over to anybody then. And I don't just mean Chinese or our own governments or anybody else, but we're handing over facial rec data for everybody, basically with our names on there and everything else like that and and it, it, it shocks me that that anybody would believe that there's something which can be captured by a drone yes it's in a unique flying position that other cameras you know uh, can't get to um, a bit like other beers um, but actually I, I can't believe that that you would be concerned about that but yet be happy to do things like these trends and things on social media so I, I completely agree with your point there 100% <laughs> Mike Trennan, it's fun being married to Shirley. Lots of conversations with, with uh, new people starts with, nope, don't do it. <laughs> Very good. I hope, I hope you're well, Mike. I hope Shirley's well and the family. 
Uh, Mike is one of our, our our longest term channel members. Hence, he has a little um, badge after his name. If you look at his name in the chat, he is one of our 36 uh, C um, uh, members, actually. So he is he has been with us for more than three years as a channel member. Um, and I really do appreciate that, Mike and Shirley. I, I really appreciate your, all of your direct support. Uh, Roger Hunter, I'm in the US and the general public has no idea of how drones work. They invent all kinds of capabilities that drones will never have. And I really don't like flying in public places unless I have to. Yeah, no, indeed. Uh, uh, and and, and that, is, that is part of this. We, we have to remember that although this sounds bizarre to us because we understand um the the nuances the use uh, and that type of thing behind drones of course when it comes to the public they will only understand what's fed to them so if they're fed drones drones bad you know every, and, and, and that type of thing then actually it it, it, it is a problem it, it it becomes a narrative um and becomes very very hard to stop look at how the entire situation of gatwick here in the uk became a global phenomena and we still have zero evidence that there even was a drone um, um at, at that multi multi-million pound um, incident um and one that stopped so many people traveling over, over that christmas period uh, drone phoenix so otel is good skydio 2 uh, do they know where manufacturer of all the components come from exactly drone phoenix and that's one of the things i said that even with your blue uas drones like skydio it doesn't mean because they're american built they're on the blue uas uh, list etc it, it does not mean that a drone is actually 100% US manufactured. Um, it's to do with the chips, it's to do with the data, it's to do with the IP, it's to do with the entire product uh, being uh, ring fenced as a US product and therefore giving it enough clearance, therefore giving it enough uh, validity to be able to be used by the Department of Defense. Uh, so it is it is a, a very different thing. And it, and it doesn't, it absolutely, I agree with you, it does not mark any other drone company as being good because they're marking this particular company as potentially being bad. Amok time flies, Geeks Vana, do you need a little breather? No, do you know, after, what is it now? Nearly three years of live streams, hundreds of live streams that actually these days, I mean, how long have we been going for today? We've been going for just under an hour. Um, and actually, this is a very short live stream for me. I, I, I used to do live streams, both ones that I was co-hosting and also on my channel that was sometimes two, three hours long. And we also have live stream events that we do for our clients. Uh, we, we have a production business that actually is the whole thing that pays for this channel um, and um, allows us to be sponsor free rather. And um, those client events can sometimes last for many, many more hours. So I'm, I'm certainly used to going a lot longer, but thank you. Um, I hope you're well. One of our channel members again. A visual line of sight. Surely there are more Chinese manufactured security cameras that would greatly outnumber drones 100 fold. Why not an issue with those? Yeah. And, and this this is the problem. This is where we start to get the problem in terms of we 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 can no longer continue to keep having that same conversation, in my opinion, if they're not going to tell us what's going on if they're not going to give us actual evidence. We, we need to start seeing something because otherwise we are just sat around waving our Chinese phones, waving our Chinese security cameras in the air and saying, hang on a minute, this this has got all the data from X, Y, Z. Why isn't that a problem? Um, and, you know, there's there's intricacies to that even within that, which I which I think uh, bear f future um, um, discussion. Uh, but that's a whole other perhaps rabbit hole for a, for a political channel. Uh, but yes, no, I, I agree with you there from that point of view. Yeah, so the FCC won't issue certification to companies on the list, but they don't seem to withdraw previously issued certifications for those companies. Huawei phones still being issued in the USA. Yeah, that's right. Um, and I, I think it depends on the appetite, um, because obviously once you have a bill passed, once you're on a covered list, it really is one of the most significant things that you can do to a consumer company. Um, in the United States that requires FCC licenses. Um, obviously, if you're if you're making, I don't know, um, um, I'm looking around for someone that doesn't actually have a, a some kind of frequency. If you're making whiteboards and pens, um, then you don't need you know, FCC not liking you won't won't harm you at all. But certainly in the drone space, uh, it will. In, in terms of you know retroactive, because in some of the early reports on this, I heard sort of talk of you won't be able to use the 2.4 or 5.8 if you're flying. Um, that's not correct, because there's actually, even if the FCC status isn't 
uh, approved on the drones there are actually ways around that as well but only for for the for a very small marketplace so it, it, it's likely that dji would would probably pull out the marketplace completely but yes that's right at the moment it doesn't automatically withdraw previous issued certifications that product has its certification uh, and also of course you have a product on your shelf with it to actually to actually go from where from what we're talking about now to actually go to a situation where we actually ban the dji drone shaft on your shelf is a completely different thing in my opinion a 100 percent different thing yes um surely dev thank you you have solved all of the problems of the drone market you have managed to find something this is a little bit niche anybody that's new to the channel i do apologize uh, it's a bit of a niche story here micro drone but it's one that we have been following and i do have another show coming up on this possibly even tomorrow on the micro drone 4.0 debacle the scam that is and that is of course micro drone as a viable alternative to dji and i think that's it i think we should put vernon in charge i think we should give vernon a few billion and ask him to make us a mini three um competitor and um yeah we'll we'll, we'll sit back and and wait for that to never be delivered frankly uk abandoned mine explores hi good to see you i wonder if half of this conspiracy comes from other manufacturers in an attempt to reduce dji's presence i think certainly the anti-dji lobbying in the states in dc is very very strong and i think that they have a lot of their battles have been won in terms of knocking them out of the enterprise market and knocking them out of certainly the federal enterprise market side of things it's now starting to happen that it's starting to knock them out of the enterprise sector from a state by state basis on on a on a uh, further down the ladder um, but yes I, I i i think most people that are read up on this topic would certainly agree that that is a a a a a, a, a bona fide part of this issue frankly uh, Geeks Vana, um, Amok Time Flies, that is for the mention. Uh, that was actually, oh, it was actually another airplane reference. Thank you. And I apologize. I didn't spot it at the time. Lindsay Hayes, Geeks Vana, DJI will be banned in the UK as soon as the BBC realize I've watched this, I've watched you this week for longer than them. <laughs> Well, thank you, Lindsay. I appreciate you coming along and spending time with us. Um, and, and Lindsay actually is 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 one of the, um, I don't want to embarrass Lindsay, but Lindsay is one of the viewers and one of the names that I remember. And it's actually because I have a a section of my audience that uh, I love all of my audience for all different types of reasons. We have everybody watching this uh, from from people in government, from the regulator, from police to audit channels to um, I'm sure drone criminals out there wanting to know the latest rules, etc. So they know what they're breaking all the way through to hobbyists. Uh, we have um, uh, our membership section has an entire section for the specific category. So the professional commercial operator here in the UK, we have all types of different um, uh, viewers. And I love that from all types of different countries. And but one of the things I love is that we have people from all over the world, like Lindsay, who is actually here in the UK, um, that have we sometimes have slightly spicy conversations in the comments section. And I love the fact that I will put some content up and people, I, I, you know, great video thanks sean wonderful i love those comments don't don't ever stop making those comments but i also love the comments that say actually have you thought about this and actually i think you're wrong on that and what about this i love those comments any comments that get me thinking and get me taking a step back and wondering if i've done the right thing as well so thank you Lindsay. yourself and a few others have certainly kept me on my toes over the years uh, david smith they used to be called quadcopters uh, then the media dubbed them drones yep and it conjures up dangerous military type hardware yeah, and, and I, I, I think the, the drone mantle was also then embraced by manufacturers and um, and the because drones was very much GPS drones because you had your quads, which is sort of your self-build FPV drones and that type of thing. And of course, pre-DJI really, uh, DJI really, um, quadcopters, you know, we're all even the first DJIs were self-build drones um, with the flame wheel, etc. So, so yeah, I, I, I agree. I think drones was a a niche thing there because they were seen as perhaps a very very distant relative of the military drones because they were the automated camera drony type things, spy drones almost. Um, but yeah, I think it did stick, and it it is unfortunate. Hi, um, hi, Mike. Good to see you. I did get your email actually. Um, have you seen the article on the uh, gent who has been fined three thousand and spent a night in jail cell after flying a drone at the uh, Isle of Man TT? I've just seen the update. Yes, 
I have. I actually have some interesting information on that as well, actually. But yes, I have. It's 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 um it's uh, a very interesting story. That's what we'll say so far, shall we? Uh, <laughs> Andy Cortez, I'm typing on a Huawei best phone ever. There you go, Huawei. You you, you now owe me thirty pence for the advert. Uh, Birmingham aerial photos. The problem with the uh, with China is a fundamental requirement for all corporations. Yep. Yeah. To hand over info on the state absolutely and as i was saying that that that's actually enshrined in chinese law where they actually insist that individual citizens um are essentially they, they, there's, there's a there's a phrase for it but essentially insisting that citizens will, will will spy on on their behalf and they cannot refuse that and once companies become a certain size there's all sorts of things that have to happen within that company to ensure um that they are cooperating um with the state as well uh, XJet, I can't wait for DJI to simply geofence the entire continental US and make it a no-fly zone for its drones if it's banned. Oh, could you imagine that? Well, you know, yeah. Uh, Barkley, 107 drones. The problem is that you are thinking logically in terms of drones. The proposed ban has nothing to do with drones uh, and is just collateral damage uh, to uh, politicians trying to justify their jobs. Yeah, I, I, and, and I, I have a lot of friends the other side of the pond. Uh, thankfully, this channel and this hobby um, gives me a lot of friends, a lot of people that I get on very well with over, over, over the other side of the pond. And I, I get that feedback an awful lot that, that they really they really do feel and obviously they're living this drama every day they're very much within as you are Barkley right in the middle of it it's something which would affect you financially as well as as a hobby and you know it, it, it is something which is a real problem for them and they just don't see anything apart from a political motivation there and that is um, a, a huge concern and Stephen Drones summing it all up you can anyone that's just joined you don't need to re, you don't need to rewind you don't need to, the, 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 here it is it's all BS uh, from Stephen Drones thank you Steve uh, visual line of sight, um, smart lights, phones, routers, laptops, car sensors, the list goes on, uh, but drones, I don't get it. Yeah, and, 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 and we've covered this with some of the other comments, but it, it, I've always had a bit of sympathy from the point of view that our, our camera can fly. So a drone can actually come up into the sky and it can get a much better vantage point. And it's something that perhaps could cause, you know, more of a privacy incursion from that point of view that, that my, my camera flying at, 50 meters you're not going to be able to hear it you're not going to see it you're not you don't know it's there but with the amazing zooms on uh, drones like th things like the m30 um you really can punch right in and you know almost see what that person had for breakfast frankly and that to me i always had a little bit of sympathy with but that sympathy is extremely restricted um and and it's starting and that and, it, and it's starting to run out frankly i just i just don't i don't i don't think it's something which i think is um relevant anymore uh, Bruce says the government also effectively has the power to force companies um, to uh, the US government uh, uh, to hand over all the records. Yes, and I did say it would be naive to think that this doesn't happen in other ways with large companies in the UK and the US. But to have it enshrined in, 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 in open legislation, I think, is something which is very, very concerning um, indeed. Birmingham aerial photos, good to see you. Shrimpton of Rayford, close to Arford, Clint, pleaded guilty to a charge of, oh yes, uh, a small manned aircraft which has flown within a thousand metres of the Isle of Man TT course. And of course the Isle of Man um, under its own um, uh, local legislation, etc. as well. And uh, I mean, you know, uh, we won't go down that topic because it is, it is probably one that I'm going to talk about on the channel next week. But um, I, have, I have a few different viewpoints on that story and we're just waiting for some of the information to, to clear up. And Amok Time Flies, DJI obviously don't have up-to-date info. I went out on Saturday and was denied takeoff because they thought that a disused airport, airport was airfield was still being used. And, you know, I had a conversation in a meeting earlier on today, actually, about this, that you, the, the whole thing of if my, my if my if the app, the DJI drone lets me fly, then I, I, I must be in clear airspace, etc., is so misguided. Um, and uh, so many of their... Um, um, geofences have nothing to do with the legislation and actually have nothing to do with the actual no-fly zones um, that it's crazy frankly and I, I, I would certainly never rely on the app and you're getting it the other way there where it's where it st thinks there's something there that shouldn't be uh, there was a podcast on with the world's best ethical hacker who pointed out that he used to have a toaster and a washing machine that used to connect to a server in asia well, yes, it's a bit like the kettles with chips in them and, and that whole controversy, I suppose. 
Okay. Um, yes, an expert saying at least Chinese are honest about what powers they have over their people and businesses, not like USA and, N and it's NSA. Yeah. Well, that, that's a whole other different channel, different political debate. But but the only thing I would say there is that I don't think you can ever say the Chinese government are honest about what powers they exert over their people. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm not saying any country does that, uh, is honest about it, but I certainly can guarantee that they are not. Um, they are perhaps in that one instance, but it's what else they do behind that. I'm sure there is a, a thing there. And yes, actually, as um, as Lindsay Hayes points out, uh, some disused airfields are maintained for emergency landings, um, but uh, I presume Amok means one that he he knows is, is, is fully um, disused and not maintained. And John Coopy, I draw a line in the sand with Geeksvana and I'm requesting a ban for a constant stream of fake news. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I should just explain for the new people actually where this where this comes from. Uh, John Coopy is actually um, the FPV editor here on Geeksvana. Although you don't see his face on the channel very much, he is um, he spends a lot of time with me in chat. He spends a lot of time helping me with stories. He helped me with tonight's story. Um, I feel like there should be a producer um, um, uh, credit for him somewhere um, on on this video. If we had such things as credits, perhaps we'll start doing them. He's put "I'm kidding" in in brackets after. But we know the truth. Uh, but John is is a huge help to the channel and um but we used to joke around in a couple of other live chats and we used to sort of attack each other as a bit of a joke um and um it stuck people started to think that we didn't like each other and used to actually start coming to those shows to see the drama between me and john especially when he was on the panel but uh, john's a great guy and if you haven't got his channel yet um go over and subscribe and also talking Chinese tech and Chinese media that's in the press. He's got a very good TikTok channel, actually, um, for FPV and uh, also Fixed Wing. Well, I suppose Fixed Wing is still kind of FPV. UK abandoned mine explorer says, I know a geofence that doesn't appear on maps, uh, but if you take off from near this underground reservoir, it won't let you leave the airspace immediately above it. That's interesting. Very interesting. There are, there are some, some very strange issues on there as well, actually. After that musical interlude from Sean, copyright strike. Right, we're getting on to the crazy side of the chat now. Um, this is almost where I feel like I should hit a button and take us behind the scenes into like the members only section um, so that we can go sort of almost Geeksvana after dark. Uh, members, let me know actually if you want to see start seeing Geeksvana after dark so we can go live after the normal live and then have a, a, a slightly more um, aggressive is it is aggressive even the right word but a slightly more aggressive chat about the the topic um it's something i'm considering doing so jim droning is saying let's block john coopy <laughs> ban john coopy let's get our pitchforks out excellent well thank you very much everybody for joining me i really appreciate it uh, we're now we're now nearly 130 likes and i really appreciate the sheer numbers that you've come out on the, on tonight we've had this is our third show of the week we've got so much stuff so much uh, content that we need to bring you so many things that i want to talk to you about um over over the 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 coming weeks that we are coming a bit thick and fast with the um uh, the live shows at the moment. so thank you for turning up in your numbers thank you to everyone that's watching this on the replay because you also um keep keep our, our our replay numbers very very high and i, I really really do appreciate it uh, but as i say as we're getting on to the uh, the strange part of the um, the chat now, I think we'll leave it there for this evening. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I'm off to have a, a drink and, and soothe my sore throat, and I'll see you next time on Geeks One Alive. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.